My name is Kathy Silvich, um, and I'm from Wise County, Virginia, about two miles outside the town of Wise. Um, they actually started on the upper end of this lake in uh, January, the early part of the um, 2005, about January 2005 or so, and took all of that down, coming down this way. Um, they worked here approximately a year before they filed for bankruptcy. Um, and in that period of time, as far as blast goes, they would sometimes be like, I would say maximum six to eight times per day. of a Sunday paper. There was an article and the picture that's in there is the front window sill of my home and those are my fingers wiping that dust and then the pictures was then printed in the paper and it was literally awful. And it, if you can try to imagine if you see that on your car, does anybody ever say, what's in your lungs? What are you breathing? What is in this air you're breathing? You know, we can wash the car, we're a little bit frustrated because it's dirty, but the other is a much more serious matter. You know, we can live with the, uh, with the front window seal that I didn't like being so dirty. We can do that, but we can't change the air that we're pre pulling into our lungs when these kinds of activities are going on right where people live. But uh, about 6.30 on Sunday afternoon, he had a rock go through the roof of his double wide. To the best of my knowledge, to this day, he's never been compensated even for the repair of that roof. He and his mother replaced that hole with a skylight because it was the most, the least expensive thing they could do to get the hole closed up. A friend of mine recently called it strip mining on steroids <laughs> because it seems to have taken an uptick. It's almost inconceivable compared to what it has been, you know, in the past. If you look backwards, you'd say, well, what is this rush we're, what are we rushing to here to see if we can flatten the whole, the whole county?
My father worked in a deep mines for about 30 years in one place before he retired. When you deep mine, at least we did, it doesn't contain the explosive nature of what we're doing on top of the soil now. We just, it's as though we blast it away now and just scoop it aside to get to what little coal there is. Once it's done, perhaps the reason, the reason that it's so depressing is you, you don't really have a great deal of faith that it could be put back. It can be reclaimed, it can be sprayed with grass, and we can leave rocks lying all over the hillsides, but we'll never, I don't think, we can restore it to what it once was. I think it's just another one gone. You know, even if you can't restore the land, for God's sake, stop from destroying more and more of it. Um, where I think the solution lies, I'll just kind of throw it out there. <laughs> you know, because no one of us is ever going to know the whole truth, but we can collectively know the whole truth if we'll just talk to each other, have enough conversations. We can come to some kind of consensus about where we need to go in this country. I'd also like there to be some kind of political leadership on this, and it can be from both sides of the aisle. It doesn't matter whether you have an R or a D after your name. Because we don't ask you if you're a Democrat or Republican before we offer you a drink of water. And neither do we ask whether you're a Democrat or a Republican before you breathe air in order to survive. the power and needs of this country, we are absolutely being destroyed.